If you're watching this video, you've heard about FTC, but what is it? To first understand FTC, we need to look at what the F stands for, which is FIRST. FIRST is an acronym for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Basically, FIRST is the governing organization over most robotics competitions that occur internationally. It was founded in 1989 and at that point just included FRC, or the first robotics competition. The founder was Dean Kamen, who is also known for inventing the Segway. FTC, which is the third out of the four levels of FIRST, didn't come along until 2005. Just as with any other level of FIRST, FTC unveils a new game every year. This is called Reveal and occurs in early September for FTC. Apart from the first season, FTC games have always been played on a 12 foot by 12 foot playing field. Robots can be up to 18 inches cubed, but can expand to any size once a match starts. Each FTC team is assigned a unique number and gets to choose a name. When a team retires, so does their number. Currently, FTC teams are up to the 16,000s. I have been on three different FTC teams, 4631, 11096, and 9785. Teams can be anywhere from one person to 15 people. From my experience, the sweet spot is around 10 members. One thing FIRST likes to say in its marketing is that it's more than robots. Now, coming from a robotics competition organization, this might seem like a stretch, but it's actually true. In fact, there are many more ways a team can advance from a competition than just robot performance. FTC offers a number of awards that cover various different accomplishments of teams. These can include outreach, design, and the engineering notebook. Speaking of that, let's get into everyone's favorite part of FTC, the engineering notebook. In all seriousness, it really isn't that bad. In fact, I have found a number of people throughout the years who even really enjoy it. Even if you don't enjoy it, having an engineering notebook is very, very important. In fact, every award requires one. Basically, if you want any chance at any award, you're going to need an engineering notebook. The general purpose of one is to document the engineering process of your robot, as well as outreach projects and a business plan. Once you learn to enjoy it and divvy it among members of your team, completing an engineering notebook is not bad at all. If you find yourself around any person who is involved in FIRST at any level, you have probably heard about gracious professionalism. It covers a lot, but the general idea is that you should be kind to everyone on your team, and most importantly, on every other team as well. It emphasizes that, despite the fact that the competition between teams allows for learning and improvement, everyone's end goal is to become a better and more educated person after walking out of FIRST. Despite the fact that it isn't the top level of FIRST, FTC is arguably the most competitive. Since it contains middle school teams in addition to high school teams, and is in general much less expensive to operate, FTC contains a lot more teams than FRC. This past season, FRC contained around 3,800 teams, whereas FTC encompassed over 6,800 teams. This leads to the odds of advancing to the next competition much lower in FTC than in FRC. Even though the robot is smaller, FTC can be often much more competitive and challenging than FRC. That should cover most of the bases of exactly what FTC is. If I left anything out, feel free to mention it in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions.